oxide functions as a highly selective oxidizer with less environmental impact than other biocides. ClO2 readily oxidizes electron-rich chemicals such as sulfide, iron, manganese, and organic molecules with electron-rich groups. In this reaction, sulfide ion is reacting with ClO2 to form elemental sulfur, or in some instances, sulfate. Most notably, ClO2 oxidizes troublesome phenols to quinones. However, many organic molecules are less electron-rich and not easily oxidized by ClO2. Consequently, chlorine dioxide minimizes wasteful reactions with organic molecules, in contrast to more aggressive, less selective oxidizers. This conserves ClO2 for its intended disinfection purpose. The strength of a given chemical to act as an oxidizer is represented by the standard reduction potential, SRP, which is measured in volts. As shown in this table, chlorine dioxide has an SRP of 0.95 volts, which makes it a less aggressive oxidizer compared to many other common disinfectants used in water treatment applications, such as ozone at 2.07 volts and hypochlorous acid at 1.49 volts. In addition to its oxidative selectivity, chlorine dioxide has three more distinct advantages over chlorine as an oxidizing biocide. First, because ClO2 does not undergo hydrolysis in water but remains a dissolved gas, it is able to maintain its oxidative properties over a broad pH range from very acidic environments below pH 4 to basic environments of pH 10. Chlorine, on the other hand, has a narrow pH efficacy range and is a relatively ineffective antimicrobial in alkaline environments. Second, ClO2 is a 5-electron oxidizer and on a per-weight basis provides 2.6 times the oxidative capacity of chlorine. Third, ClO2 does not chlorinate organic molecules as does chlorine. Chlorine can react by addition or substitution reactions which incorporates a chlorine atom into an organic compound. This leads to the formation of harmful chlorinated disinfection byproducts, such as trihalomethanes, THMs, chloroform, and dioxins. Compared to other oxidizing biocides, all these attributes make chlorine dioxide a very effective and efficient choice for disinfection. Disinfection contact time is generally shorter, the treatable pH range is wider, the resulting dosage is lower, and harmful byproduct formation is minimized. And as demonstrated in the EPA's Office of Drinking Water Guidance Manual, ClO2 is a very strong disinfectant with a CT value second only to ozone. The CT value is defined as concentration multiplied by time to achieve a desired disinfection performance. The lower the number, the stronger the disinfectant. Chlorine dioxide doesn't form chlorinated organics like THMs or HAAs. The decomposition byproducts of ClO2 generated by sodium chloride include chlorite, chloride, and chlorate ions. Depending on the water makeup, approximately 40 to 70 percent of the applied ClO2 dosage will revert to chloride ions. 20 to 40 percent of the applied dosage will convert to chloride and less than 10 percent of the applied ClO2 will convert to chlorate ions. Chlorine dioxide, chlorate, and chlorite will all eventually decompose into chloride ions and typically become reassociated with earth mineral cations to form simple salts such as sodium chloride, table salt, Chlorine dioxide kills bacteria through multiple mechanisms. In bacteria, chlorine dioxide oxidizes fatty acids and membrane lipids in the cell membrane. This disrupts the permeability of the outer membrane, resulting in the inability of the cell to regulate the movement of molecules into and out of the cell. ClO2 also denatures cellular proteins in the membrane and within the cell itself by oxidizing amino acids that make up these proteins. As a result, the proteins change shape and lose functionality. This can make the cell unable to generate energy, unable to move molecules in and out of the cell, and unable to stay alive.
In bacterial endospores, the inner membrane is essential for viability. ClO2 penetrates and damages the inner membrane, making the spore leaky. In viruses, as shown in this RNA virus, ClO2 reacts with the protein capsid, allowing RNA to be released. The RNA then reacts with the ClO2, and RNA synthesis is disabled, so the virus cannot replicate. These reactions with cellular biomolecules result in impairment or death of the microorganism. The collective damage from this multifaceted attack prevents the microorganism from developing resistance and makes ClO2 both broad spectrum and efficacious at a low dose. Chlorine dioxide is a fast-acting, highly effective oxidizing biocide. Microorganisms are known to alter their structure to develop immunity to non-oxidizing microbicides. The typical solution to this problem is to alternate non-oxidizing biocidal chemistries.